Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial video, where we will be looking at Bryce Soleil and Solar Shading in Archline XP. External movable solar shades are the most effective way to protect against heat and light coming through the glass surfaces of buildings. Solar shading is one of the most sophisticated external Bryce Soleil devices of our time. It works in a similar way to a Venetian blind, but has the advantage of being fully automated. You can customize the amount and direction of light entering your home. The lamellas and frames can be adjusted by parameters and are therefore well adapted to different facade designs. The profile of the frames can be chosen, for example U, L or E. The Bryce Soleil has rotating and retractable lamellas, which can be arch or straight. In today's video we will first make a horizontal and a custom sloped Bryce Soleil. We will look at how to make a vertical one, and how to create a custom arch Bryce Soleil. To show you these, I'll open a project that doesn't have the Bryce Soleils done. I will work on this project. First I will make the Bryce Soleil with horizontal position. I will switch to view 01 and activate the floor plan view. I will use the building menu, roof, outdoor tools, Bryce Soleil horizontal command, and select the style. I specify the path, and then with enter, I accept it. In 3D you can see that it is finished, but its properties still need to be modified. I click on the Bryce Soleil, and then click on the pencil to change the parameters of the Bryce Soleil. The first tap shows the properties of the frame, and the second tap shows the properties of the lamellas. Let's look at the properties of the frame first. Size means the depth of the horizontal frame. First I change it to 1500 mm. I can adjust whether the frames should be on the path nodes. If I turn it off, we can see the change immediately. In this case I want to put them on the path nodes, so I'll turn it on. You can still adjust the spacing between the frames, I won't change that now. The frames can be offset, but I won't change that either. You need to adjust the cross-section profile of the frames. Now an eye profile is selected, but I will work with a simple rectangle profile. Click on the plus button to select a rectangle profile. I enter rectangle in the search field, and select this rectangle simple profile. I click on the profile properties and enter the dimensions of the profile. I turn off the uniform scaling operation command. The height is 150 mm, and the width is 100 mm. On the next tab, I'll set up the material. I choose a dark grey material, which I select by clicking on the plus button. Once I have set all the properties of the frame, I move to the second tab, where I set the lamellas. First I have to set the rotation. I'm going to type 360 degrees, which is 0 degrees, so I can completely lay these lamellas. I'll set the spacing between the lamellas, which will be 200 mm. I can offset the lamellas from the starting point to the end point. I set the offset of first lamella to 100 mm, so it will be the same as the offset of last lamella. I also set the profile of the lamella, I keep this arch for now, and I set the same dark grey material. Lastly, I set the base elevation, which will be 2800 mm. It is done. Click on the save button to save it to the library. Ok, I accept, the Bryce Soleil is created. The next Bryce Soleil I'm making, will be the vertical one. I'll switch to view 02. I'm going to make an L-shaped Bryce Soleil here. To do that, I'm going to switch to the first level in the floor plan view. Here I'm going to draw the vertical shade along the blue line, that I drew in advance. In the building menu, roof, outdoor tools, I select the Bryce Soleil vertical command. I draw the geometry of the Bryce Soleil, and press enter. In 3D, we can see that it is created. 
I need to change its property, so I click on the Brise Soleil, and select the pencil icon. On the first tab I set the dimensions of the frame, in this case the size is the height of the frame, which will be 2600 mm. I set the spacing between the frames to 1500 mm. Again, I choose the rectangle simple profile, the width and height will be 100 mm. I change the material to dark grey. Let's go to the second tab, adjust the lamellas. The rotation will be 270 degrees, so I can set it to a fully vertical position. I can adjust the spacing between the lamellas, now it remains 200 mm. I set the offset of the first lamella to 100 mm, so I get the correct alignment. I also change the material of this to dark grey. OK, I accept and the Bryce Soleil is done. What I'll adjust is the base elevation. The base elevation here is the upper point of the Bryce Soleil, which is marked with blue. I can set this graphically or numerically in the property menu. I change it graphically first. I grab the blue arrow and use the move command to raise the Bryce Soleil. Once I've done that, I check the base elevation in the properties. If necessary, I type the value to work accurately. This will be 2600 mm, so the Bryce Soleil is in place. The next one I will make is the sloped Bryce Soleil. For this, I'll switch to view 01. I'm going to work on the ground floor plan. In the building, roof, outdoor tools menu, I select the Bryce Soleil custom form command. I choose the style, steel shade and draw it along the wall. Press enter to close the command. In 3D, we see that the Bryce Soleil is ready, but this is not yet correct. I need to modify its properties. I go back to the floor plan, click on the Bryce Soleil, and select the pencil. I'm setting the rectangle profile. Here you can see that the frame has a custom profile, which I edit using the Edit Profile button. I've already drawn the tilt angle I want the frame to have. I place the current profile here, and then use the Move Node command to specify the new location of the node. When this is done, I press Enter to accept it, and the correct Bryce Soleil is created. I can change the properties of this one in the same way as the previous ones. I'll set the rectangle profile, which I won't adjust the dimensions of this time. I can adjust the spacing between the frames. On the second tab I adjust the offset of first lamella to 100mm. The sloped Bryce Soleil is finished. I accept it with OK. I still need to adjust the base elevation, I'll set that graphically too. I click on the Bryce Soleil and move it with the blue arrow. I numerically set the final elevation to 5300 mm. I am ready. Let's make a shadow animation to see how the sun moves through the project. I select the view, shadow, shadow animation command. I need to specify the date and time, from when, to when I want the animation. Now I set from 8am to 8pm, with 30 minute steps. Before that, don't forget to set the north direction. I don't need to change it here. You can save the movie by clicking on the Create AVI button. If I choose the preview, the program will play the animation. This allows you to see how light shadows are created on the building and in the garden. In the last step, I will show you how to make a completely custom Bryce Soleil. I switch to view 03. I would like to make an arch Bryce Soleil over the outdoor terrace. To do this, I will activate the floor plan again, and draw the Bryce Soleil on the ground floor. I'll use the building menu, roof, outdoor tools, Bryce Soleil custom form command. I draw it using the existing line, then press enter to accept. It's done, but I need to modify it to get an arch Bryce Soleil. I right click on it, and choose define custom frame from the local menu. If I click on the select an item button, I can select the pre-drawn arch. I press enter to accept, and it is done. I change its properties, then click and drag it into place. I change its base elevation to zero. By clicking on the pencil icon, 
I change it to a rectangle profile, and change the material to black. I choose wood for the lamellas. I set the offset of the first lamella to 100 millimeters. I'm done. Let's see it in 3D. This is what an arch Bryce Sole looks like. This brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you very much for joining me again. Have a nice day. Bye.